welcome everyone today we are going to see how to do how to <coughs> visualize a sigmoid function so let's uh, just put our heading oh sorry it was not working good so we have to go see sigmoid function okay so we are going to do the basic things like import numpy as np and import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt let's run that yeah good so the next thing we have we are going to do is to write the function for the sigma let's just write it in the mathematical way first this is our sigmoid function and this is let's write this function in python you have seen this function in your uh, tutorial videos and let's write this in python so def sigmoid the parameters it will take will be x w and b and we will return return what 1 is divided by 1 plus np dot exp in this np dot exp is works like this it is to the e to the power minus so mm, numpy functions give you this you can use it from numpy function np dot exp and minus the blue into x plus b so let's just put these things into bracket 2 okay and let's run this and hope it will not be any error okay so, okay so let's see the value if it is working or not sigmoid put the value of x as 1 the value of w as 0 0.5 and let's put the value of 0 run this so it is coming between 1 and 0 that's it is that's what it's supposed to come because we know that the value of sigma functions come between 0 and 1 so it is okay so let's try to visualize this function so let's say w is 0 0.9 okay b is 0 0.1 and we have to generate a uh, several values of x uh, let's see how we do it and what it does x is equals to np dot lin space minus 10 to 10 so what the lin space does that it 
generates number between minus 10 to 10 on the regular interval so you have to gen like generate a number between 1 to 5 in regular intervals like you want to generate 10 numbers between 1 to 5 so just it can be generated as like 1 to 5 uh, you have to divide it between by 10 so point to point uh, point two plus plus add it will it can go, go five, point five point five it can go as like this so let's just say that you have to generate minus 10 a uh, number between minus 10 to 10 and uh, uh, let's put like on to 100 numbers okay so it will be 100 spaced integer uh, 100 spaced number between minus 10 to 10 and it will be as a an array so let's run this now we have an array of x and we can apply it is in y so we i'm going to do a little bit of trick here let's just write it here y is equals to sigmoid x w comma b so here you can see that x w b's are a scalar but i am going to i am passing this x this it is a type of uh, numpy array so let's uh, this is what python does what it does that it broadcast uh, the value uh, if it is scalar to converting into a nd array so let's run this and we will see it in next and there is the type of x see it's nd array and why then also and array so all these numbers are a scalar but when i'm passing this array uh, to this sigmoid what it uh, python broadcast it is doing the python broadcasting and for every x is applying sigmoid function and storing it in y um, for making it in numpy array it is applying every value of x and uh, taking every value of x and applying sigmoid function and uh, storing each value into the y variable making it making it as an nd array now let's try to plot this so it's easy plt dot plot x comma y plt dot show so see this is how um, this is what sigmoid functions look like mm as we have seen in our theory videos well, let's change the um, um, let's change the value of w and see how it affects this our function so right now it is positive and it is showing this way if we if we do it uh, negative if we put it at w is negative value how it will affect our graph let's see is doing this and we'll rerun this so it is changing the value of nature of a or line of graph so as, as we have discussed this in our theory video it is supposed to show you this kind of behavior and there is an uh, if you let, uh, change the value of w like um, if we do something this and do this so it is showing a straight line here and if we do the value of 1 and then on this it is now showing a curve like as we have supposed to see in in um in the case um in a normal sigmoid as a normal sigmoid function we can also uh we i can like add some i can show you some magic it is in co um, collab that we have we can do to we can do to change the value of w and b uh, let's see if we are adding form go to form fields and let's just pose it there i'm just increasing the size of this to 
add this the copy this comment and put it right here so it taking the value bit uh, is here one so but our mean max is giving uh, 100 let's put it like minus 2 2 2 okay so you, ha you can just check change it from here and we can also put some like step as to so let's run this and you can change the value from here it is zero it is taking the step that's why it is doing this like you can put something like 0.5 it will be changing in 0.5 so 0.5 we run this and we run this it is negative that's why it is showing slope like here you can also do it for b and the value of 0 0.1 let's make it minus 2 and 2 so it will be working and you can change the value of b and see what it how it affects our graph so it is shifting rightward but we are not uh, able to see it because the scale of the graph is changing let's just change it mode okay let's see how it's showing now so, so you can see like these graphs are increasing a bit right here okay and so that's how a b affecting this graph uh, let's just go nearer to zero and see uh, how it affects the graph it is just being a straight line um, so just play with these parameters w and b and how change, let's uh, uh, observe how your graph changes we will see some more on this on our next tutorials